In this video I'm going to show you how I make eyeballs for stylized characters like this, but it can work for any character, and it's really quick and easy. If you want to learn how to make this character, then check out the playlist link in the description, and if you like what I do, then check out my website for more great content. So I'm in the general startup file, I've got my shortcut keys down here, and I'm in Blender 3.0.1. You'll want a UV sphere for this, so we'll delete the default cube, Shift A to add, mesh, and then UV sphere. And the nice thing about a UV sphere is the way it's laid out. We've almost got an eyeball kind of shape with the pupil in the middle there, but we want it pointing towards the front, assuming your character is looking towards the front. So R, X, 90, so rotating around the X axis 90 degrees, and it will rotate it around so it looks like this. Now, given that the eyeball doesn't move too far in the head, it just rotates around a short amount, we can actually cut off the back half, which makes it a lot easier. So into edit mode with tab, three on my numpad to go to side view, where you can click on the X in the Cartesian coordinates. I need to go to X-ray view for this, so I can select the faces in the background, and of course, face mode as well. Then I can box select the whole back half like this and press delete, and then faces. So I'm left with half a sphere. Now I need to unwrap this, so it sits on an image of an eyeball. If you're not sure what unwrapping is, then do check out my complete guide to unwrapping playlist, link in the description. So let's go to the UV editing workspace, zoom in on my eyeball and zoom in on my workspace here, select all and press U to unwrap and you end up with something like this. What I tend to actually do if I go to edge mode is grab some edges from here to here and mark a seam there, there, down here and along here, but it's not really necessary and this is the really easy and quick way. If you don't mark those seams, you get a bit of stretching, but it's on the very outside of the eye, which we hardly see, so you don't have to worry. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to get our image in the background. You can go to the shading workspace and jump to and from the UV editing to the shading, but it's just as easy to pull out a new window here and change it up the top corner here to the shader editor. I'll press N to get rid of that toolbar and create a new material. So we've got our principal BSDF and we want to plug our eye image into the base color here. So to bring an image in, we press Shift A, Texture, and then Image Texture. So there's our image there, and then we open up the eye image. There's the eye image that I'm using. I'll post a link in the description, and it's copyright free. So I'll open that, and I'll link it up. So let's zoom out just a touch in our UV image editor, and we want to be able to see it in our workspace here. So let's go to Material Preview Mode, and it's spread about all over the place. It's easy to fix that. We can select the very middle vertex just there, go to proportional edit just here, and then press S to scale. And you can see I can scale it up and I can change the circle of influence, how much it's influencing with the wheel of my mouse. And you can see I want to bring it right out to somewhere around here. Now the image seems to be very slightly off square, so we might want to select all and scale in the X just to bring it in slightly. And again, select that middle one, scale up as you see fit and you can grab it and move it into the center of that eyeball. Again, use your circle of influence to affect the vertices around that middle one. And there we have it, our eyeball. Now some of these vertices are going off the edge there, so we can select all the ones around the outside, scale them in, again with the circle of influence, bring it right down, and that will only affect the ones around the outside, and it's a little bit better there, as you can see. Okay, let's go back to object mode and see what we've got. Not bad, right click, shade smooth, a little bit better. The really simple way to add a bit of shininess is just to put the roughness right down and we've got a shiny eyeball there. What I tend to do is actually put another sphere over the top of this, so copy this sphere, put it over the top, make it fully transparent and reflective. But you don't really have to do that, you can get away with just this and it works really nicely. And that is how I made the eyeballs for my characters. It's really quick and easy and ends up looking pretty decent. So thanks for watching, I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.